Jason Lambert. That's Jason, J-A-S-O-N. Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T. And uh, you're the proper time. General Manager of Detroit Operations. Well, uh, just talk to me about, in general, what today is all about. Sure. Today is all about the delivery milestone and celebrating the success of our first delivery on a brand new business that was created here in Troy in 2012. The S61 program had a challenge with capacity for meeting the deliveries that Sikorsky had to the Department of State to address that uh, capacity constraint. At the same time, Troy was going through a lean manufacturing transformation where we were able to free up 30,000 square feet of facility space through improving the production flow of our existing legacy products. And the building that stands behind me and was previously occupied those, by those legacy products, which we still do make here on the campus, the MH60R. Um, so we went through and, and put together, along with a lot of hard work from the entire Troy team, to set up a, a repair and overhaul business here in Troy for the S61. And the airframe that we're presenting for delivery today uh, was started its life 45 years ago. And over the last 114 days, it's undergone repair and overhaul work and structural modification work really to start off its next life in theater with the Department of State. And what is the, is there, what is the economic impact of having this new business here? It's, it's, I think it's huge for the facility here and for the community here in Troy and in Pike County. We have 640 employees on campus here at our facility in Troy, and over 100 of those 640 are now employed on the S61T program. And, Have you seen room for expansion with this? Absolutely. Um, we're, we're looking to expand capacity for the number of aircraft we can hold and flow, and we're also expanding the statement of work that we perform. Uh, currently, as you see behind me, the airframe has been repaired and overhauled the structural portion of that, but we're now looking at how we can assist the program with further installing final assembly installations. So that would include electrical systems, fuel systems, hydraulic systems, and other part of the, of the aircraft yeah. before its final delivery. The comparable to yeah. the statement of work that we do on our Seahawk aircraft. And you said in your, uh, your, your statement to the workers that uh, uh, in 2011 you guys kind of had to figure out how to get more business in, in the same amount of space. That's correct. What, what did you guys, I guess, how did you guys figure it out? Did people locally figure that out here? They, they did. It was really a, it was a great opportunity to work with the entire team and, 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 the, and the folks that work on the aircraft and know the aircraft build um, every day, our inspectors, our manufacturing engineers, our mechanics that work on the aircraft, they went and looked at doing what's called a value stream mapping event. They flowed out and got rid of all of the non-value added waste in our processes. They worked on the factory floor and determined the optimal way to lay out the fixtures of how we flow aircraft through the assembly process. And together, collectively as a team, we're able to free up this 30,000 square foot of space with, without having to build a new building. That space enabled us to go out and win new work, such as the S61 contract, to create jobs here in Troy for, for this program. So under the, I guess, your current contracts, how many do you, are you supposed to have coming through here uh, in the next, and how much, however, how long of a period of time? Yeah, currently we have uh, production uh, orders through that will take us through the rest of 2012, and we're uh, in discussions looking to expand that now. And just, sim you know, simply stated, I mean, how big of a milestone is this organized? For us, it's, it's, a, it's, it's huge because it's a brand new type of business. From 2004 until present, the Sikorsky campus here was focused on one type of product, and it was original equipment manufacturing for the MH-60R Seahawk helicopter, building the airframe for that platform. This aircraft, 45 years old, has uh, been out of service since 1995, came in from the desert, from davis Monthan Air Force Base in, uh, just outside of Tucson, and started out basically as a shell. We had to take all of the paint primer off the vehicle, do a full structural uh, modification inspection, and then build the airframe back up for all the new mission systems that it holds on it uh, for the next uh, next theater of flight. And as John mentioned, when the aircraft leaves here, it's actually a stronger aircraft than it was even when initially produced off the production line. So that's an exciting service offer we can offer to our customer. For Troy, it diversifies our business. There's a lot of talk. Uh, regularly on Department of Defense uh, budget cuts that impacts this facility, it impacts our corporation. Uh, by diversifying our business here in Troy, by adding this new program and others that we're pursuing, uh, that helps us become a stronger company for our workforce and for the community here in Alabama. My name is John Johnson. Uh, I'm the uh, S61 Program Director working for uh, Sikorsky Aerospace Services out of uh, Trumbull, Connecticut. And uh, I'm down here to uh, 
acceptance of uh, the first S61 modernization For you, I guess, what, what, on your part, what happens? I mean, you, you're here to see this from Troy. This, this then goes to your facility. Is that how it happens, or how, how does it work? From the actually, next we're step? partnered with uh, Carson Helicopter out of Pennsylvania, and uh, and this helicopter initially starts inside the desert, goes to Carson Helicopter for depopulation, then gets moved down here in order to have be blasted, and then have the structural refurbishments done. We started the modernization process where we put modern. Uh, enhancements on the helicopter, and then that structural mod gets painted down here, and then shipped back to Carson Helicopter, we assemble the aircraft, and put it back into a flight-worthy condition, and deliver it to the how, how big is it, I guess, as far as your business goes, how, how, how important is this project? Well, to the Department of State, it's obviously pretty important in order to support their worldwide missions. And, uh, and we have a contract with them up to 110 aircraft at this present time, and over a billion dollars. And to our, obviously, our, our company, uh, that, that's a significant amount uh, of, uh, of revenue for us. And, uh, and, and it's very important because it's, it's, a, it's a bellwether of transitioning the business from uh, being only a production type business to a modernization business. And this is our first attempt at, at moving forward with modernization business and, and putting us into uh, a different type of capability, not just for support some aircraft, but, but for the Troy facility also. Uh, if you know, what is the purpose of this uh, uh, aircraft? I mean, what, you know, for somebody that doesn't carry people, does it carry supplies? Sure, you, sure. What, what, uh, this is a, is a, is a multi-mission aircraft. So it can do a number of missions. Uh, it has seating for 15 in this current configuration, and, and it's configurable to many different uh, configurations. Primarily, it'll be used by the State Department to uh, transport dignitaries and personnel uh, around various countries uh, in austere environments. So it, it has uh, force protection and survivability equipment in order to keep it out of harm's way. And, uh, and it also uh, will do uh, a, a cargo mission. So it'll transport uh, uh, a bunch of uh, cargo back and forth between uh, uh, locations. W-I-L-L-I-A-M-E-N-A-I-L-S. And uh, what, what is your title here at Sikorsky? Uh, senior tech. And uh, what is it that you do here with, with regarding this aircraft behind it? Well, do whatever needs to be done. Uh, we got certain areas that we work in, different zones, and everybody like pitch in and work in those zones and whatever crab that's in those zones we work together as a team to prepare those on. Um, they said that uh, I guess the folks here in Troy actually figured out how to, I guess, compact business and, and were able to move this new business into this building. Did you have any part of that, or did you did you work on that at all? Well, no, just just being an employee. You know, just working here. You know, anything that came in that we did just get done. You know, we worked as a team and got it done. You know, it, it's a team. Team challenge. Everybody work together, and that's one of the good things that we have down here. Everybody working as a team. Whatever need to be done, if it's priority, whatever, we just jump right in and we get it done to make sure that our supervisor, you know, whatever they tell us to do, that's what we're doing. Um, go ahead. To see your company reach such a milestone, thing, what, what does that mean to you? It's awesome. It's awesome that we got something that. We never had, some of us had an experience just type work. But just to come in and just, you know, work in there and, you know, sometimes you got some guys are more experienced than others, you know, that's pitch right in and say, hey, this is what we got to do, this is how it's done, you know, and we work as a team and do it, you know, so it's an awesome milestone. William, bef before you guys were producing brand new stuff, right? right? And so was this different? Was this fun for you to kind of take something that was old and, and make it workable again? Yes, because normally we've been taught that, you know, don't create no MRBs or anything, you know, don't drill a hole that don't belong there. Here you got work that's coming in that need to be repaired. So, you know, we're pitching in, you know, like, okay, we it's exciting, you know, to do something that you never had did before and... You know, to find something like, man, you know, this is what we got to do. So it, it's a good milestone, you know, and all of us here down here in Troy, you know, we look forward to it. It's 
themselves. Do you ever think about when you're working on this equipment what this might end up doing one day? Like that could, you know, that, that, that right behind us could, I guess, in some way, you know, uh, transport the president or anybody else like that. Do you, do you guys ever think about that when you're working? Yeah, it, it's something that we think about, you know, and it's one of those things that we look forward to. Um, dealing with the new stuff, we've had aircraft to come in that we have built, and just to see them fly the end of something that we did, you know, we can just look back and say, wow, you know, so one day, you know, if we get the news that, hey, this is one of those S-61 that you guys repaired, yeah, that, that would be very awesome. <laughs>